Hey guys, and welcome to Mark's TV. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Garmin Echomap UHD 93 SV, how to turn on simulator mode and why you might wanna do that. So first off, you might notice, I'm just at my local creek. You know, I don't have my transducer plugged in. All I have is a power cord going to a battery that's in my pocket so I can run this portably. And I'm gonna turn on simulator mode and we're gonna be able to play around with this unit, play with settings and things like that. So first, let's talk about how do we turn on simulator mode? Very simple. We're on the home screen here. All we're gonna do is press settings. We're gonna to go to system. Then we can go to simulator and turn it on. Okay, that's the easiest way. Boom, it's on, okay. Now, if you would've saw on simulator, there's also a setup. We can choose uh, a few different things here. Our speed, set our position, select a sonar file. Maybe we had one if we wanted to do that. We're just gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna turn on simulator mode. Now, what that's gonna allow me to do is use any feature of this unit that I want to and play with it. So let's say you're at home and you wanna get used to your unit in different settings and things like that. You can turn on simulator mode, get used to your unit at home so that when you're out on the lake, you know how to use it. One example. Let's go to gauges. I never use this when I'm in like one because I don't have any sensors or anything hooked up. But if we wanted to, we could go to engine. Boom, it's gonna show me that I have four engines that they're running, they're at different RPMs, my fuel levels. Um, if I wanted to go over here, my mercury, it's telling me how fast my RPM is going. We're going 3.1 miles per hour. It's gonna allow you to play with those features without having to actually have stuff plugged in. It's pretty sweet. I think it's good. You know, they use it at stores and whatnot, but you can use it to improve how you set up your unit um, by going through different sonar settings, selecting different colors, and you don't have to be doing that while you're using your time at the lake. You can use that time at the lake to catch fish. So if we go back to home here, another thing is I don't actually have live scope, but sometimes I get bored and dream that I have it, you know? So I like to go and look, and we have pan optics here, and I can choose whichever pan optics view I want. So I don't, you know, maybe you had one view on your boat and you wanted to try another. If you had pan optics, you could actually just turn it on here and see what that would look like rather than change it on your unit first. Now, obviously you're not gonna see what you're seeing outside the boat, but it gives you a chance at home, again, to kind of get a feel for what you're looking at. So if we went to live scope, boom, I can see in front of me. And now I can start playing with, oh, what would happen if I zoomed in, okay? Or maybe if I change the gain. Ooh, look, okay, I can see more. There's a lot of feedback. It allows me that opportunity to learn how those settings adjust different sonar settings in my unit so that when I'm out on the lake, I can say, oh, I want a little more clarity here, or maybe that's not showing up very well, let me try this, because I've tried it at home, learned how it works. So maybe this little tip will help you learn more on how to get better looking sonar with your unit and give you something to do at home on those days when there's bad weather and you can't fish. If you guys have any more questions about the Garmin Echomap UHD 93SV or any of the Echomap UHD line of units, please leave them below. Thank you so much for watching Mark's TV and if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button.